Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup. And today we are going to go over Marvel Legends in our virtual ser versus series, Marvel Legends Psylocke versus Marvel Select Psylocke. So there are certain categories we're going to go over. Uh, those categories are the price, the accessories, the aesthetics, and the fun factor. All right. So right off the bat, we're just going to do the dark horse in the room, the price. So Marvel Select Psylocke is going anywhere from $23 to $27 to $30. Uh, that's on what I've seen on Amazon, eBay, things like that. All right. Marvel Legends Psylocke has now jumped up. She is around uh, anywhere between $60 and $70 uh, because she is from last year. So it's a lot harder to find that one. So right away, price goes to the select. All right. Next, we're going to take a look at accessories. For accessories, Psylocke Marvel Legends comes with the fist of the psychic knife or dagger, the sword, which is nice. And the thing for her head, which is nice. I wish I would have thrown the head with the scar. That would have been a great, you know, package. But she comes with three items. For Marvel Legends, that's really actually pretty good. For Psylocke uh, Select, she has this piece here. A workable sword. The Danger Room that we're they're standing on. The Danger Room piece. And all of those. Like... Three more pairs of hands, an extra head, and that same violet butterfly effect. So it's not even a competition on the accessories. Select Henley takes that, all right? As far as aesthetics go, okay? That For me, that's how they look. You know, paint, all that good stuff. Um, unfortunately, again, for Marvel Legends, it's a great figure. I still like it. Uh, I think they could have done something with the hair. And there's two variants of this. One has like a purple color costume with purple hair. And this one with the black hair, but blue costume. They should have had the purple hair or highlights like this one. So the paint on this one's much better. The face honestly looks better on the select. The, um, the paint, the belt. I mean, honestly, I'm sorry. Everything on the select as far as aesthetics is just done better okay so again we're gonna go to select for this category for articulation things are much closer okay Psylocke can go about here the Marvel Legends she can't look up much because of her hair just like the select um, she does have a single knee or uh, elbow joint but Psylocke over here the select version has a double elbow joint so she can get more range of movement. Um, her leg does not come up as far, which is unfortunate. Um, but the double jointed elbows really does help her out. But I would say because of the stiffness in the legs that I'd call this category for the um, articulation a draw. Okay. Because they're about the same. Okay. They really are. I can't get this one to stand back up. So we'll say a draw. All right. For articulation. As far as fun factor, okay, this is another category that Select would absolutely blow Marvel Legends out of their mind because there's just way more stuff. But because Legends is in scale with more figures that I actually have, I have to say it's a draw as well because she's more inclined to stay in the same scale or this Psylocke is hard to find her in a specific scale because of how tall she is. So this category is a draw. Which means the overall winner is the Marvel Select Psylocke. If you can't get this one and you want to fudge her into a Marvel Legends display, try your best. It's going to be very difficult because her legs, you might have to try to shave some down somehow. But again, this is the perfect, this is the perfect figure if it wasn't for the height. If this one was the same height, it'd be over. It would be over. But um, yeah, I hope this review has helped some of you, especially if you missed out on the Marvel Legends Select, a Marvel Legend Psylocke. Because this is still a great figure, and I'm glad I've gotten it. Thanks for watching. 
And until next time, peace and chicken grease. <laughs>